fingers. All right, give me a second. We have a new setup here, so it's taking me a minute. Give me a second to share this. I have my friend with me too. I want to um, tell you guys about kind of what's going on with me and um, how it's go how it's going. With me. Go ahead and drop your name if you know my card. Um, I'm going to make this a really short feed though um, because I have a lot of stuff to do and my phone only has 20% battery right now because I blew up a charger again this morning. So, But I will be back with a really long feed tomorrow and I'm going to start going on live every day. This is my new Reiki work area I'm broadcasting from. I have my pyramid set up here. Desiree is going to share it, right? I have Desiree with me. She's going to share it. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the comments up. You guys can go ahead and share this for a chance to win a th third eye activation. And I'll go ahead and do the activation like tomorrow or whatever. So you guys, if you're not catching me live, you can still share it. Hopefully my Wi-Fi is good. I didn't get the password here yet. Um, this is like a really amazing space for energy though. Um, I recently moved. <clears throat> I'm not sure if everyone knows, but... I was just talking to Desiree about how I just wasn't doing everything I could be doing where I was living. And I'm all about service and doing something bigger than myself here. I know a lot of people aren't. And I was slowly like getting sucked into that third dimensional reality more and more. And I already had awoken from that and kind of transcended it. And it was like I was getting slowly sucked back into it. And it was just killing all of my probabilities, like anything I would try to create. And I've learned a lot of really valuable lessons about being careful whose reality you mergers with and things like that. So I have so much information like coming to me so fast. Um, I recently, again, left pretty much all of my material things and drove across the country with my friend for something better. Pretty much on pure faith, too. Um, because anytime I've tried to make plans this entire time, they just fall in and fall apart. So I'm pretty much just kind of going with the flow. And I can see where I end up, but it's been really challenging to get there. Like, we invested a lot of time and resources into coming here and um, rebuilding something out here on the West Coast. And I definitely wouldn't go back. I wouldn't take it back. And it's been really, really amazing. And I'm staying here. My friend actually left yesterday to go back home to Pennsylvania, which is a really long drive. We drove, um, it was almost like 3,500 miles at least. So... It's really a long drive, so she's actually driving back. She's pretty much in the mountains in Northern California right now, and I'm staying here by myself. And I think that part of the reason my friend left was because she couldn't be by herself. And I see this as a common theme where people are clinging to relationships, having a hard time being by themselves, looking for relationships to fulfill them. And I'm one of those type of people that's okay being by myself all the time. I actually do a better job when I'm by myself usually because then I'm not like taking care of the people around me and things like that. Um, so we have this new moon energy in Pisces, like you're gonna listen to me ramble a minute and I'll get into these cards, but we have this beautiful Pisces energy and it's about manifesting and creating. And I see a lot of people are not realizing they're putting out these negative thoughts and negative vibrations and negative ideas out into that field, that vibratory field, and it will come back to you. So it's very important that even with all my doubt and things that could go wrong, it's really important, I know, until like at least Sunday especially, it's important all the time, but at least during this moon, that I stay really optimistic, positive, and actually aligned with what kind of visions I'm creating. And I suggest you guys are all doing this too. This is a powerful energy. We, the entire lights were going on and off in here. I blew out like a phone charger today. It's the second one this week. Um, I blew out an entire circuit breaker yesterday with my energy. So we have a really crazy powerful energy that we can really use to mold and shape a new reality or a new paradigm. And so many people are hanging on to these unhealthy situations, people that are lowering their vibrations. And I wish that people could look at sex in an energetic way or from an energetic stance because I tell people that whenever you merge your energy with someone else, you're going to be permanently affected and permanently altered. And I see a lot of people in these relationships, and sometimes these relationships are dragging you down if you're not on the same energetic level. That's the thing. That when you're merging your energy with some people sometimes, that it could bring you down. It could be bringing you down in vibration. So it's time to take an assessment of your life and to see um, what is keeping you from flying and ascending. Because I know a lot of people think they have ascended 
and you know they've done this process and they're awake but I hate to be the one to tell you none of you guys are awake yet we are in an awakening process but we really have a long way to go and a lot of work to do and you can't do this ascension while holding on to that old paradigm that you really aren't even that happy in and I know a lot of people like me could have been well what am I doing I'm gonna leave my nice house and all of my stuff and everything that I've worked for my entire life to go try something else what if it goes wrong my friends, what if it goes wrong? Well, I think people should be asking, what if it goes amazing? Better than planned. What if this is what's holding us on, holding on to these realities and these jobs that we're miserable at and we're not really ultimately happy at? So with this energy, you're being asked to reassess your life because you're in a cocoon yet. You're not flying. I know everyone thinks, I ascended. I'm an ascended master. But you haven't even left your cocoon yet. I always try to do things first. I'm a teacher. Um, Everyone knows I teach Reiki. This is just kind of my role. I'm a teacher and a healer. So a lot of times I go through hard lessons first so that people can watch. Um, I did my entire detox process coming off of opiates on live film, my entire healing process from day one on camera. And that is meant to inspire people for change. And I'm doing something really hard again, once again, on camera in front of everyone. And so it's very, very intense, but this is meant to show you that you guys are all going to have to do this. Um, I've been working with people who are having intense visions about the actual New Earth because we're not there yet. <clears throat> I know people think that we're here in the same place, but we're not. And um, you're only going to be able to bring one thing with you. And I don't mean a material possession. You're going to bring your gift with you. Like mine is telekinesis. I use my mind and my energy to heal people. So everyone has an ability that they will contribute to building a new civilization and this energy is really intense right now. A lot of people are talking about, like, I did a video on a spiritual war in the heavens and things like that. It's actually more like a planetary alignment that is kind of shining a light on people's duality and dualistic um, natures. So there's a lot going on astrologically. I really suggest that you guys stay really positive. I'm feeling amazing. I'm vibing with my friend. Um, I started a new business venture. It's going really amazing. But just stay really positive and reassess your life, your priorities, and what you're creating right now. Um, because the problem is, is we're creating the same little things. I feel like I'm always manifesting weed and crystals. And the thing is, is that we're manifesting things based on this paradigm that we've been conditioned into, which is the prison planet paradigm. And we could just really be creating bigger things. So you guys need to think bigger. You guys need to dream bigger. Try to create bigger things. We're being limited by the reality that we're in right now, and that's the entire problem. Let's see. I'm going to insert this too. I'm going to be here. I have some beautiful, not just this space, I'm going to post pictures of this entire, um, my new office at the Kundalini Cave, um, which is beautiful. I'll post a bunch of pictures, but I have a beautiful space where I'm staying that I'm working in too. So I was doing like Akashic readings all day. If you guys want to support, a greater mission, it would be amazing if you guys could purchase something from our site. We're doing Akashic readings, healing, Reiki, things like that. Check it out for sure. Kimberly Monacello. Hi, good morning. I've missed everyone. I'm going to be doing um, this really short just because of my phone battery. I'll go and, until my phone dies, but literally I'll be back for like a really long feed and I'll be here every day again. And I'm really excited about it. So Kimberly, you are having mental conflict, which goes right along with this Saturn-Mercury theme that I'm talking about, where we're having these kind of mind battles. Um, the best advice, I know I'm really into like the Fuji, but you really want to get a grip on the mental aspect too, where mind-body-soul complexes. And the mental aspect is the most important because that's how you manifest with your thoughts. And so many people have all of these random thoughts all the time. And that's why we're in this creator school, because we would be dangerous in other places where we would instant manifest anything that we think about. So you really need to work on your mind, and how you can kind of declutter your mind is through meditation. I had a really intense week, um, and I'm still going through. I'm going through insane, crazy things. I couldn't even begin to get through, get on, get through to you on camera, like at all. Just I've been through such intense lessons since I left my house nonstop every day. And it's so crazy, but I'm evolving really fast. And I want to trade it for the world. But yesterday I had to go do two meditations and then I built a grid because it will just kind of um, clear your energy and declutter your mind. And I can't imagine not clearing my energy every single day, especially as a healer. That's the worst thing any healer can do is not clearing their own energy after they're done healing for the day. Joanne Boyle. 
suffering in silence. Um, we're deeply connected. I had so many synchronicities today between my two friends, like really fast. It was just insane to me. Um, so we're deeply connected. I can tune into you anywhere that you are in the world, and I can affect you energetically and in other ways. And just in thinking about someone, your body will respond to it. They've done scientific tests where I can think about my friend negatively, and it will actually increase her pulse and her heart rate and things like that in a negative way. And if I think positive thoughts in a totally different building, it will affect their body in a positive way. Tony Guy, I'm trying to hold my phone in, your cards, spare with me. Um, you should be celebrating, we all should be. We're supposed to be here to have fun and to create fun experiences. And we literally get hung up and we're so serious. And I know that we have all of this post-traumatic stress disorder that's been passed down genetically and we have this society where it just brings it out of us with 9-11, terror attacks, false flag attacks, and all this crazy stuff. But you should be celebrating because um, Everyone is going to go through this planetary ascension at their own pace. Marianne Howells, good morning. Deception and envy. You are awakening from the matrix. And there are just so many layers of awakening. I was one of those kids that was awake, and then I kind of went through all of these awakening stages. And I'm going through a new layer of awakening right now that's just been mind-blowing and crazy to me. So you're going to keep on waking up to the matrix and what it is and what it's not. My friend's watching me go live, so I'm not used to having people watch me when I go live. Danny Stahl. Material and spiritual prosperity. I just all the time put out love for an abundance, love and abundance vibes. And I hope that people catch my vibes. And also, whatever energy you put out comes back to you, so then I just get those vibes back to me all the time. So work on what vibrations you're putting out. Um, you're going to be manifesting real abundance, and that's where we're coming to. In an end to our current financial situation and systems, literally. We're going to be working towards a new spiritual currency. I see Desiree on there. I have Desiree at work with me. We've been um, running around doing tons of stuff. It's amazing. Brianna Jade, good morning. Firm Foundation, we're working on our root chakras. Even though Pisces, you would think you would be working on the higher chakras, it's really the theme of the week is your root chakra. Working on grounding, that's how um, I handle these moons really good. I always stay really grounded and zen out and chill. And that's why I detest any kind of drama or negativity near me because I've created this life where it's just really peaceful. I like my job. It's real calm and serene. I like um, helping people, being of service. So that's why I just kind of crave that kind of quietness. 